there's a lot of talk about biomarkers in health research today. So what are biomarkers and why are they important in depression? Simply put, a biomarker is anything that can indicate the state of health of a living organism. From a human being to a frog, a biomarker could be your blood pressure, the amount of sugar in your urine, or anything else that can be accurately measured in your body. Scientists and doctors can use biomarkers to determine whether somebody has a particular disease or to see whether somebody with a particular disease is responding to their treatment. We've used biomarkers in medicine for a long time. For instance, let's say you have a terribly sore throat and you go to your doctor. You might have a swab done to check for strep bacteria. In that case, the strep bacteria is the biomarker and finding it would ensure that you are linked to the appropriate treatment. In some cases, like strep throat, using biomarkers is pretty easy. Depression is well recognized as a common disease with many causes and many treatments. What we don't know is how any individual with depression will respond to a treatment based on their own unique biology and environment. There are also probably many subtypes of depression. If we could identify a biomarker, or more likely a group of biomarkers like a biosignature, for each subtype of depression, then doctors could use that information to rapidly diagnose patients and more importantly, to direct them towards the appropriate therapy. At CanBind, that's one of our goals. The patients who volunteer for the CanBind programs complete standardized self-reports and questionnaires, provide blood samples, and undergo brain scans to generate biomarkers. With multiple programs targeting different therapies and diverse participants, the CanBind program aims to develop biomarkers and link them to treatments. From the blood, we can look at important molecules like DNA and look for gene variations. We can also look for RNA and protein from the blood. Those biomarkers change their abundance in the body depending on what's going on and may be good reflections of whether somebody is responding to a treatment. From the brain scans, we can look at patterns of brain activity that might indicate which circuits are dysfunctional during depression. The biomarkers from the blood and from the brain scans are collected at the beginning of the study and then at intervals after participants begin their treatments. Put it all together and we have a complex mixture of biomarkers and information about individual responses to therapies to analyze. Of course, that's not the only thing you can do with biomarkers in depression. CanBind is also developing programs to find biomarkers that would identify people that are at the biggest risk of relapse for depression or to identify people who are resilient to depression. They are also educating patients and clinicians about biomarkers, like with this video. Bringing those elements together is what CanBind does. So go ahead, challenge us. What would you ask about biomarkers and depression? Comment below. We'd love to hear from you.